Hi, this is Antti from VX Studio. In this video, we're going to create a, a typical menu with with the menu button on uh, top right, and uh, here's here's how we can do it in VX Studio. So I just created created a new project. My let's call this my menu demo. Then we need one screen. Let's call this let's call this home. And here's how it looks. We can add a nav bar for it. And then we just drag this hamburger button here. I, I, I drag it with alt click, option click, so it will be uh, placed in foreground group here. It will be placed on top of everything. And as you can see, it's uh, aligned from the left, but we want it to be aligned on the right side, so it works on, on, on iPad sizes or even bigger sizes. So we just go to layout, uncheck the left, and check the right. So now it's always positioned from right side, even in, in, in a wider, wider screen. And then we need the menu. So you can just create an empty component like this and uh, add a background. Add maybe buttons like this, but I, I've already created this. So and save it as a preset here. So I can just drag that one. And here's how it looks. These are just three buttons, home, about us and settings. And then we need to open the home and drag this, this uh, component, menu component to the screen. And we do the same thing, option, click, and then it's it's placed in the foreground group here, so it will be on top of everything. And I think I will place it around here, and I want it to be on the right side. So again, just click right here, and maybe a little bit higher. And by default, this will be uh, this will be hidden. So I just you can see this eye icon here. So I can just click that once. So now it will be will be hidden by default. I can still select it from here. And uh, maybe we should add a, some kind of animation when this uh, this appears. So I just select the component, I put it back to visible, go to interact, and there are some animation triggers. So there are just a few of them available, but you could uh, write your own CSS animation, but I will use fade in. So when, when this this component appears on screen, it will be fade in and we can just leave these delays and durations like uh, the, the basic settings here. And then I back uh, hide this by default and go to icon button here, make an interaction, reveal and hide, select the menu element here and just toggle. And then we can just run this in the browser. Okay, and here I have, have this app running in the browser. If I click this, I will, I will get the menu. When I click it again, it will toggle the menu to hidden. Okay, so I hope you guys uh, got some kind of idea how you can create this kind of menu uh, in React Studio. And uh, thanks for watching.